Hello everyone, it's Veronica and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a reading vlog, which I actually have not done since my end of the end of July reading vlog I usually do every month. Wow, it's been a long time. You guys have actually been seeing pre-recorded videos. So this is something I wanted to do because A, I haven't done a reading vlog in so long, and B, I've got a lot of Nick Alley arcs that I need to read. Uh, how many, you might be wondering? I have 19. So I just want to say thank you to Neck Ellie for giving me all of these arcs. I'm just lucky enough to get all of these arcs. Sometimes I don't actually get accepted for all of these arcs, as you guys Neck Ellie users might know. I learned from my past videos, if you guys recall, they will be down in the description box below. This time, I'm not actually going to have the set number of books I'm gonna read. We're gonna go with the flow in these arcs. After I read each book, I'm most likely going to be reviewing them right after, so it's nice and easy and simple. Today, I'm gonna go top to bottom instead of bottom to top, just because the ones at the bottom are actually all series, and I want to read the first few books of those series before I actually get to the arcs that I received. So the first book I will be reading is my Mother's Love is Love Ever True or Is It Just a Trickery by Rashika Chopra and this comes out on... Oh, okay. This actually came out May 5th. Rashika was nice enough to message me on Instagram and tell me about her book. So thank you, Rashika. I decided to uh, request it on Neck Alley and I got it. So it's very exciting and I'm actually going to read that book first. I'm actually really excited to do this. So let's get started. I will be back with some fresher content of the book and I'm really excited so let's get started. Hi guys, I just want to give you an update with my mother's love and I DNF this holy goodness gracious. I went into this book thinking that this was going to be a murder mystery and I love murder mystery, okay? I love it. But this I don't know what I- I don't know what I just read. I- so many trigger warnings. I dnf this because one, there's the I word, the I-N, and then it ends with the word E-S-T, that word. That- better angle now. That word, if you guys know what I'm talking about, has a C in there. Genuinely, I genuinely thought this was going to be a murder mystery. This woman, she- <sighs> And there's more night through trigger warning of rape and there's the I word and I DNF this. I didn't know that they would have it, this book. I didn't know that it would have it and it did. And I am disgusted <laughs> and I don't know what to say. Hello everyone. I just want to pause here and say I rant very long about this. There are some spoilers so this is where I leave off. I'm not going to add any of the other clips just because I think I'm a little too harsh and I don't want to say a lot of stuff except for what I've already said because I think I've already basically pointed out all the important things and I don't want the video to be really long. So I just want to tell you that I ranted off a little bit so I'm going to skip to the very end. I, I wanted to love this book. I truly did. And you know what? We're turning this around. I'm done with this. I'm, um, the next book I'm gonna read, I think, is called Eli's Promise by Ronald H. Balson. And this is a historical fiction. Yes. And I love historical fiction, so this will hopefully turn my mood around, even though obviously it's about war. And you know what, I want to firsthand apologize to Rishika Chopra, who, the author, she's the one who told me about it. I could not read your book. I can't, because I'm not comfortable with reading this. And so, I deeply apologize. Alright, I'm gonna move on to Eli's Promise. I'm gonna update you guys when I reach somewhere in Eli's Promise, so I'll update you guys later. Good morning guys, it is currently 7.39. It is currently 7.39 and I basically did not start 
Eli's promise and that's just because I had to sleep <laughs> because the past few days my sleep schedule has been really bad. Today I have a very busy day ahead of me so I might not get to record as often as I want. I'm going somewhere so I'm not gonna bring my camera but I know I'm gonna read a lot. Hopefully when I'm gone I'm gonna finish Eli's promise then I can get my review done even if I like write my review on my phone which is gonna be interesting. I do hope I can finish this. Other than that, yeah, I will see you guys soon in my next clip, hopefully. Hopefully I have finished Eli's promise, but will I make that promise? Probably not, just because I know my timeline, my speed. <laughs> it's gonna be very interesting, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so I have officially finished Eli's promise, and I'm giving this five stars because it was great. It's a historical fiction, if you guys didn't know. Probably explained it to you guys this morning. Uh, it's 5.02 right now. It was great. It kind of gave a really powerful message, which is why I'm giving it five stars. And I was about to get started on my review. Okay, let's review. There are three parts, three different years, uh, which is not a spoiler because it's technically in the synopsis. It's 1939, 1946, and 1965. So uh, I really liked that. I feel like going into each part, there was like different plot twists that were happening. So it could have read like a, its own book. That was just something that I really enjoyed. I had a really tough time today and ended up, ended up taking a nap. So that's why I was, I was gonna update you guys at like the 50% mark. But I was just like, yeah, I'm about to like fall asleep, so. So I took a nap, feel better, I feel great, and I'm about to write, I'm gonna about to write the, I'm going to about to write, does that make sense? No. I'm about to write the review. I'm going to read Remember Me by Mario Escobar, and let's go to the description. Yep. It's a historical fiction, and it's about the Spanish Civil War. So it's... A historical fiction i'm cool with that this one it's spanish civil war so i actually have this is probably my first spanish civil war civil 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 war book okay veronica goodness gracious <sighs> but this should be interesting and i'm excited to get start started so many of these books are actually coming out in september which is fantastic so that means more of my reviews will actually go out like I have so many scheduled for like November, December, you know, all of those dates, but never near. And I'm just like, okay, I'm waiting for something to actually be in like this zone, this area. So thank goodness. Now let's check out how many books I actually have on my currently reading list. Um, I feel like I have six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I do have five. Um, I'm hoping to finish one right now. I'm gonna listen. It's an audiobook. It's not part of this neck alley, so I can finally just, you know, knock it off that list. <laughs> I'm gonna get started on uh, Remember Me by Mario Escobar, and I will update you guys hopefully halfway through. That might be tomorrow. Uh, although, I'm just gonna warn you, tomorrow's gonna be a very busy day. I gotta finish this homework. Lots of homeworks homework everywhere and then uh we'll just you know see where everything goes yeah cool 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 anyways i'll talk to you soon yay hey guys so it's currently 4 55 and i'm i actually have not read for the day yet because i was doing homework because it's sunday and i do have homework good for me and i still haven't finished i have just one more thing to finish and then i'm gonna dive right into reading because reading is important i just want to give you a quick update as to where i am for the day i was gonna update you guys this morning but i woke up and dived into my homework and then i was like i can't read right now i've got to focus on work and then i was doing work and i got a little distracted because that was just such a kind of a disastrous mess today you know because it's sunday and sundays are chaotic i'll update you guys later hopefully i pick up remember me hopefully i finish this assignment but i mean it's due on tuesday but i want to get it done because you know why not <laughs> so i'll update you guys later 
guys. So I actually finished Remember Me by Mario Escobar. Not bad. I gave it four stars. And the story was really great. And I think that it's also Tuesday. So not the weekend anymore. Not at all. But I was kind of busy. I finished it like at 7 p.m. No. 5 p.m. and I wrote my review like an hour ago. It's 10:24 right now, so that's how late I am. But I just want to give you a nice update as to where I am right now. And yeah, also, my friend. <laughs> Anyways, I will. I will update you. Anyways, yeah, that's a little hint that I wanted to give you, and then you'll see past me kind of giving an outro, um, and that outro, you'll hear me say I haven't finished it. It's true, at that point of time, I didn't finish it, but this is future me, so let's give you past me now. Oh, hey, is it perhaps 8.32 p.m. on a Monday? It is. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I still have not finished Remember Me by Mario Escobar, which I'm 45% in. So I'm almost halfway, but not halfway. So I'm just going to wrap this video up. Thank you guys so much for coming. Um, I'm definitely going to finish Remember Me by Mario Escobar. And so far, um, I'm liking it. It's a very sad story. Of course, it's about war. I don't... I love war stories and I hate it because it makes me sad. Yeah, that's just the thing I do. <laughs> Anyways, let's review. I read two books, finished two books, read, I read three books technically. Um, the first book I read was this book, uh, DNF'd it, one star. Um, <sighs> my Goods, Goodreads review will be down below. If you guys want to see Maybe I didn't really go in depth, or maybe it's just the fact that I s deleted my whole rant because it was too long. So everything, my whole rant is in visually, you know, reviewed, written review is what my English is trying to say, <laughs> and that will be down below. And the second book I read was Eli's Promise by Ronald H. Walson, and I gave that five stars five stars i believe I, it was really good and it really yeah five and it was just amazing and i think that it's got a powerful message behind it my review will be up bef a week before the actual publish publication date fantastic read and then we have book three that i have not finished yet uh, remember me by mario escobar and i think i'm gonna lean towards a four or a five because so far it's great and the story is great anyways thank you guys so much for watching this short short video maybe 15 minutes 20 i don't know but this is was this reading vlog was kind of impromptu i was just suddenly i was just like you know what let's just throw in a little arc of re arc reading vlog you know i was just like there you go um, for me, mostly because this is going to really keep me on track. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a like, a thumbs up, basically. Uh, comment down below. What did you guys like about this? Are you guys interested in reading any of these books? Like Eli's Promise or even Remember Me? Or comment down below if you've heard of these authors before because I would love to know. Maybe you guys can recommend me some books. Anything you guys want to comment down below, guys. Hit the red subscribe button down below. And thank you guys so much for co coming. I post booktube content every week. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.